I got asked a couple of years ago now at this point whether I'd ever played or planned on playing for the channel Tunic. It was after I'd finished Death's Door if I remember correctly and the answer to that was no, never played it and I did start playing it it was March 2022 that I started playing it I had a really bad day at work and I played an hour and 24 minutes and then I just stopped and I never played it again I'm not going to continue from that file because I can't remember a damn thing about the game and how it works and how it plays but I thought I'd give Tunic another go keeping in mind the following it's a puzzle game I'm not good at puzzle games chances are chances are it'll I'll miss really obvious things but it's supposed to be a really good game it's supposed to be a bit obtuse I remember that there's an in-game instruction manual I remember that you are a legally distinct green tunic figure I remember it's super adorable and I really like the animations but I, I don't remember anything else <laughs> I do remember the wibbly wobbly grass though uh, those were bushes yeah so I watched about five minutes no not even that probably two or three minutes of the start of because I've still got the recording of my first attempt at playing this uh, with the idea that you know I might turn it into an actual video at some point but it's it's been two years <laughs> so clearly that's not happening I don't think I ever figured out what this thing was I'm assuming some kind of fast travel system. Okay. So yeah, almost all the text in the game is in... I mean, it's not gibberish. It is, by all accounts, a language that you can actually learn. Just down there. Um, yeah, I, I, I know... I know very little and how far I get with this playthrough is is anybody's guess uh, I can't get through here at all but yeah the the game world is fully 3d but a lot of the stuff is oh there's a there's a house here next to this is this where I get a stick there's a stick isn't there Yes. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this stick. Aha. So we can now get through that stuff. Can't cut the grass yet, but I think we can get through. Can we get through the bubble? No. We've just got a weapon of sorts. Right, we've got. We've got Zed's targeting. Got a locked door. Yeah, I didn't actually watch any further than this. In fact, I don't think I watched up until getting the stick. I just happened to remember that the stick is the main. Well, it's not the main weapon, it's a initial weapon. Yeah, there were these weird tuning fork things all over the place, and I never did find out what they were for. I didn't play far enough for that. Ow. Right. Attacking doesn't take stamina. 
rolling does take stamina and don't we have a yes i remember this we run now if i talk to this doesn't it warp me to somewhere wasn't that a thing oops oh that was me just clicking away to make sure obs was recording Big golden door. Ooh. Some lovely use of colours. Yeah, so we've got a, a funky spirit realm thing. And if I recall correctly, isn't there an imprisoned woman? fox thing up here as I say it's been two years so it's not like my memory is going to be superb Wom. Wom. And open. I love the way the stick waggles as we run. Yes, I, I do vaguely remember this. So up here, there is an imprisoned fox being. I don't know who, who they are. Why they're imprisoned, never found any of that out. As I said, I played an hour and 24 minutes. Warm. Ooh, snap. <gasps> The RGB has her imprisoned. This is why you shouldn't get RGB in your computer. It will imprison you. Something, I don't know. Whoop. <laughs> Love the little flip. Okay. Can't remember whether I need to do this to save or whether it just automatically saves. A key. Uh, pick up. Yes. Ah, yes. Vaguely recall this. I'll go down there. I think we need to get round to that door. It's, it, it's kind of a shame that I have played. Uh, this way? No. Oh, hold on. There's a door... Here. Aha! Open, question mark. Sure. Love the animation. Ah, now this is a manual page, if I remember correctly. Beginning your adventure. Yes, we need to ring two bells, and I only did the one. That was as far as I got. I'm pretty certain it was the east bell that we do first. In a far off land, a great treasure was sealed away. Some say it is the power to defy death. Such and such are page 28. Game screen, HP, stamina, MP. Everything hurts when I'm tired. So you want to keep your stamina higher.
can't remember if there was a way of changing who you were locked onto. Uh, so we've got the door. Uh, and a weird thing. Pillar. Also a chest down there. Oh, come back. Got some Cohen's here. Yes. So there's a load of things hidden by the scenery. A head. Ah, head is piggy bank, yes. I have the vague idea that we lose currency if we die, so. Oh, that's not the attack button. Hmm, currency. Yeah, it, it magnetizes to you, which is uh, very helpful because most of the time it's probably going to fall off a cliff. Um, where am I going from here? Oh, probably, probably up these stairs that I didn't go up. Sign says East Forest. East Bell Tower. Oh, that's not the attack button. Aha! Another page. Uh, controls. L2 is targeting. Something is for page 14, which we don't have yet. L1 is the menu, left stick to move, R2 for shield, R1 for heal, square, triangle and circle for items, X for interact. Uh, dodge roll, read signs, sprint, which I'd already remembered. Nice. Uh, was there anything up here, or did I need to go? No, I think this is the way back down, isn't it? Because there's a rope there. It's 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 kind of a shame that I've played this before. Well, played the start of this before, because of course it means that I I kind of partially remember. Oof. I kind of partially remember things. Um. And obviously that means that a chunk of time will be like, eh, I kind of remember this or I kind of don't remember this and that's maybe not super exciting. But equally, I don't want to be putting out footage from two years ago and say, ooh. Ow. Hey there. Hey, well. Anyway, maybe. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, more of these things.
Okay, they're going to require some timing. Careful, soulsy play. I seem to recall the game being reasonably challenging. Hero's Grave? Sword? In here? Many friends! Guardhouse 1. The first of the guardhouses. Or maybe the first floor of the guardhouse? That looks like a ramp. It's not. It looks like a ramp. Yeah, you've got to be deliberate with your button pressing. He says, and then promptly is not. Ow. Shiny. You got healing potion. Mm, which heals about 25% of our health currently, which is not a lot. And there's a guy up there, which we cannot reach. Come back to you. Preferably with a sword. Right, aha! Another save point. We shall utilise it. And another page. Target lock to face your adversaries. X evades while we are doing so. R2 blocks while we are doing so. You can always attack even without stamina. Iframes are at the start of the dodge roll when there is dust. If you have less than 25 H... No. Yeah, so if you've got less than 25% HP, you are easier to, to flinch, essentially. I like the sense of scale. Like that. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Wow, they have got quite a lot of range on us. Probably because we're using a stick. Oh. Dead. You play a fox who is dead, so we lose currency on death. Back to the shiny realm. She resurrects us, doesn't she? I don't know what the uh, clicking the right stick does, but it makes the the bits bounce.
I don't know whether it's just actually a grown-up fox as opposed to his girl. Oh, clicking in the right stick. Target locks. Quite difficult to uh, get close enough to them to actually do anything. Yeah, being a bit more aggressive seems to work with those. Oh, hello. Oops. Oh, okay. He's got a wide swing. Things are going well. I actually didn't go in here, did I? That's fine. I can't. Oh, there's a... No. Okay, so that's not getting us anywhere just yet. We need some power. I don't recall the, the, the start of the game being this... challenging previously <laughs> nor you guys for now and Open. Uh, can't get through there. Ow. Play that. It's not long till we get the sword, I don't believe. Oh, in fact, it's there. Sword get. Da, 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 da. That's not the button. That's also not the button. That's the button. And now, <laughs> I love how foamy the blocks are. Now we can cut down all the things. And I vaguely recall that I never found anything in the grass. It's just, it was just an obstacle. Because I spent a chunk of time cutting down all the things and just got nothing for it. It's just there to get in the way. But it does it does mean that we can get to a variety of places that we couldn't get to before as well as doing a massive chunk of damage to these things. And we can get through here. <laughs> yeah, it's just like little sponges. 
there. Oh, we don't have the map yet. Now, the, I know that there is a map in the manual, but we don't have it yet. Uh, there's a chest over here. How do I get to it? Down here. You've got to be super duper mindful. Ooh, some berries. Which are... A thing that we can use. So I'm suspecting probably a consumable health thing. Yoink! <gasps> Bombs! Anything back there? No? Hmm. Uh oh. Aha! Oh, they actually block you until they disappear. Yes, th things are much, 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 much easier to defeat. With the sword? Which is, of course, kind of what you'd expect. Uh... MP bottle, I think? The lower forest. Now, ah, grappling hook points. Didn't ever find a grappling hook. Didn't play enough. So, God knows where we get that. Oh, hello. Six fireworks. Uh oh. Spinners. Uh. Okay, bomb do. Ooh, oh no, bomb set us on fire! Okay, that's good to know. Uh, buy those as well, see what they are. Uh, which way do I want to go? The chest down here. I get to you, chest. Not through there. Unsure. Oh, hi. Oh, that's that's a different kind of bomb. Interesting. They are worshipping at some kind of giant broken thing. Do we have to find the pieces of that? I can't remember. I don't want to turn this, however, into a Demogen doesn't remember video as sometimes happens when I revisit a game. Oh, yes. There's a secret path down there. Um... What do you do, platform?
Ah. Combat so far is is pretty straightforward, but that's fine. Um Do I need to go back this way yet? Again, until I can get the map and get my bearings, I can't actually remember where I'm supposed to go. Got the sword. Ah. We go up here. Um, thing hidden behind there. <gasps> More cash. Lovely. The, the combat so far is incredibly basic. If you compare it to something like Crypt Custodian, which is the last game that I played, this feels a little bit more subdued, shall we say. But, but that's kind of the point. Yeah, this is A, an older game, but also it is a puzzle game with some combat, whereas Crypt Custodian was an action game with some light puzzling. These things are okay if you... Ooh. Yeah, these things are okay if you can get behind them. Big old livery switchy thing. Isn't there a boss in here? Oh dear, I'm yawning. Isn't there a boss in here? Maybe not. Right, this creates a ladder to get back down. Yes. Part of a thing. Piece of heart? Probably a piece of heart. Ah, here's the guard, Captain. Ow. Somewhat uh, easy to kill with the uh, firecrackers or whatever they are. cannot remember how prevalent com prevalent that's a fancy word how common they are <gasps> a reward what's the reward little, 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 little. another health potion nice Aha! Uh -huh. Take that, barrels. Anything hidden? Doesn't look like. A long way through here. Ah! There we go. And here, uh, bell rung. Nice. Hold on.
I don't think I saw that before. Yeah, so here's the uh, the the person. I've always thought of them as a maiden, but actually they're they're not very maiden like, are they? I think. Ooh, I forgot you could uh, destroy the signs. But more importantly, we can now get through. Here. Yeah. Yes. Aha! Now, wasn't there a way of zooming in? And that moves stuff around in the background. Ah, so it's X to zoom in. So that's where we are. Got a giant head thing to the right, which is there. Nice. I'll slowly get to grips with things. Very slowly. Oh. Another save point. Don't mind if I do. Uh... Ah, windmill. Isn't there a shop? There is a shop. This was a merchanty person. Ooh. Yes. Another healing. Save that for now. And I don't know what that thing... I mean, it's a giant fox skeleton, isn't it? Which would make sense, what with us being a fox and all. Hmm. Is that the bell tower that we need there? A lot of weird purpley stuff, which I don't think I ever figured out what the point of was. Oh, friendly fire's a thing. That I had not remembered. Manual page. Uh, moment of safety. No safety when you're exhausted. You get hurt more. Ah, sword, stick, shield, ice bomb. That's what those are. Ah, fire bombs and explosive bombs. So like dynamite or something. Keys, fruits, hot peppers, effigies are our piggy banks, lure, I have no idea, golden coins, can be turned into, I'm assuming they're not coasters, but they look like coasters, 8, 16, 32, 64, uh, HP, 
Oh, that broken thing that we got was a piece of a health potion. Okay. Okie dokie then. Uh, I'm assuming we can't get in there. No. Oh. I spy a chest. Oh, a second piece of a broken health potion. Yeah, I, I need some currency. Gonna need casholas. Uh oh. Do enemies get staggered below 25% health as well? It kind of looks like they might do. I spy a glowing cave. Well, door. I get up there? I can. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, excellent. More. I'm going to call it dynamite because it's kind of stick shaped. One foot. Some cash. Oops. Just roll with that one. And some pretty flowers. How lovely. Hmm. Ow. Oh. Hmm. Many a friend around here. Hello, sir. Ow. Oh, the range on that is... <laughs> Does he get confused if I roll behind him when he's swinging? Oh, there's a page there. How do I get to you? A bit lazy there, must admit. I don't know whether I should be using up all these things, but I noticed he was guarding a key and it's like, oh, he's probably going to be a bit tough. So let's, uh, old house key. Okay, good for opening old houses. Oh, toity things. I remember those. Can't do anything about those yet because can't get close enough.
Okay, that's used of all of those. Ooh, a piggy bank. Can't cross that. Right, don't want to go down there. Uh, sure. Oh. Shifty camera is shifty. Nice. Anything? Ha ha! Uh, ha ha ha! Beach time! Ooh! Yoink! Uh, under the well and. Uh, uh, the ruined atoll. What is this a map of? Okay, it's got some purple bits. So, I... cold door. Yay, spiders! Something, statues. Oh, we were down there. Yeah, the, the game is very much all about kind of discover. Ah, that is that part of that statue that the the what's it, guys? Shipping. A coin. Oh. Uh. Got a bit of an invisible maze here. I don't think I found this before. Ooh. Okay, so we've got a big old chunk of change. Yeah, I, I maybe I did. Don't know. I'd have to look back through my old footage, which kind of defeat the point of trying to play this again completely blind. Where are we going from here? Back we go, I think. I do like his little silhouette. Um, well, we've got a key. And... Oof. Somewhere up here. Oh, that's a gate, isn't it? And open. Ah, there's a well. Right, the old house 
which I think we've just got the key for, is there. Oops. Nice. <gasps> There's some mysterious shit go. Woohoo! You got a shield. Nice. Right, I can now uh I suppose we might as well see what's through here first. A mysterious door. Which we don't seem to be able to do anything with. Alright, one of those mysterious tuning forks that I never figured out what to do with. A tooth. Those were upgrade components. Did figure that out. Oh, now, didn't this take us to a really... In fact, it's marked on the map, isn't it? Yeah, the Dark Tomb. I don't need to go to the Dark Tomb because I vaguely recall trying to go through the Dark Tomb and getting my ass kicked because it wasn't where I was meant to be yet. So let's instead save the game. Now, if I remember correctly, if I try and... Aha. Now, I vaguely recall this being attack. Is that right? Yes. Nice. Don't know why I keep uh, keep doing that. This that I want. Uh, don't know. We'll do it. Defense, health, stamina. It's not like we've got a lot of stats. So and HP. Okay, so we've got some HP. And we've got some attack. We've also got a coin, a piggy bank, uh, a, a radish. We don't need to equip our shield because it's automatically done for us. Whee! Okay. How am I doing for time? That's almost an hour, so that actually, I think, will do me for my return to Tunic. Don't know how much of this I'm going to play. Hopefully I'll get further than I did last time, but again, I don't really know how far I got last time. I don't want to log into the save file, because that will, that will spoil some things for me. Yeah. I don't actually know. We can try and get to the West Garden. We can go to the well. Or we can go to the Dark Tomb. And I vaguely recall the Dark Tomb being really challenging. I guess we'll find out next time. But for now, I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little look -see. I cannot guarantee that this will be in any way exciting or interesting to watch. 
But it's about time I played this. You know, I, I love Zelda games and I like, in many ways, I, I like exploration. And, and this is very much a game about exploring the nooks and the crannies and finding the things and trying to figure out just how the, the language in the manual works. Um, under the well. I think under the well was where we wanted to go next. I don't think I found this page. Maybe I did. Maybe this is a map of the... Don't know. Don't know. I might try the dark tomb next time. See what it's like. Until then, thank you very much for watching. If you would like to watch more of me stumble my way through Tunic for the very first time, let me know down in the comments below and I'll record some. Well, I'm going to record some more anyway. Um, but it's going to be in dribs and drabs, I would think. Stay safe. Stay fabulous. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.